You've been like this since we left the office. What happened? You look so spooked. I need time. No, no. No, no, no! I just can't do this, Alita. This, this hot and cold thing you do, this is driving me insane. Yes, it is. You're on the verge of tears when you called me. When I got there, you were calm and composed, picking up pieces of a picture off the floor. You're not going to tell me anything about you keep giving me one word answers, one word responses, and now we're here, you're still not gonna tell me the problem? Why now? Why are you so angry? Why did you come when you have so much pent up? You don't just get it, do you? People in relationships, people in a relationship, they look out for each other. That's what they do, right? I came over because there is no way, no way on earth that you're gonna sound the way you do and I am not gonna come running to you because I've left a meeting with the president just to come meet you. Why am I angry? Why am I? I am angry because something freaked you out. Matilda, how would a man agree to divorce you? What can I do for you, Chief? Okay, uh, that's fine. Uh, you know you owe our party quite a lot. And uh, the uh, request I'm going to make is not a particularly big one. Okay. Um, following Sho Agaba, he is going to be on the presidential nomination list, but he must not be declared. I don't know who that is. He's a bone in everybody's throat. I'm sure you must know, Chief, that I have no control over things like this. <laughs> How is that? The screening is televised. If a person does well, he has to go through. Madam Senate President, you are the third most powerful person in this country. Or don't you understand the power of your seat? You can do it. Well, he's nicknamed Mr. Integrity. He's incorruptible and he's not fearful for his life. He'll not play ball no matter who the teams are. So that is why the president wants him as finance minister. And why no one else wants him? He's Nigerian politician's worst nightmare. Interesting. 